Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Now first off, let's not get this confused with the Galaxy Tab 2. Now a lot of my homies been hitting me up asking me, how come I never did a video on the Galaxy Tab 2? Well, to answer that question, the Galaxy Tab 2 is exactly the same as the original Galaxy Tab. Now here goes my Galaxy Tab right here. As you can see, it's been updated, has ice cream sandwich on it. The Galaxy Tab 2, exactly the same. Same specs, same dual core processor, same camera, same everything. So it really didn't make any sense for me to get a Galaxy Tab 2 since I already had the Galaxy Tab. But with the Galaxy Note 10.1, you got a whole new set of specs, whole new set of features. This one is a certified go, certified. But let's unbox it real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, as usual, y'all know I don't really get deep with all the specs and all that, but I will hit y'all with the official specs from off the back of the box. So let's take a look at that real quick. First off, you got a 10.1 inch screen. That's diagonal, of course. You got a 5 megapixel camera in the back. You got a 1.9 megapixel camera in the front. You got a 7,000 milliamp battery. You got the S Pen that comes with it. And also the main feature that separates this between the Galaxy Tab and the Galaxy Tab 2, this one has a 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor. Okay, so that's quad core, four cores. Now the Galaxy Tab and the Galaxy Tab 2, both of these have dual core processor, two cores. So two cores, four cores. So that's a major upgrade right there. But anyway, let's keep it moving. First off, y'all know I like a nice box, so this is a good box right here. Typical Samsung, you get what you pay for quality presentation let's open it up once you pop it open you get the you get the device so let's take that out of here got a cardboard separator inside of that got the usual books and shit you got the power cord and you got the adapter to plug it into the wall so basically that's all you get now with Samsung you're not, you don't get the micro USB adapter, you get Samsung's proprietary jack. This is what it looks like. So if you had a Galaxy Tab already, you use the same plug. All right? You don't got to go out and get a whole new set of chargers and all that. Use the same plug. So they use this one right here. Looks kind of like the iPad, whatever. But uh, this is Samsung's joint, and it works on all the Galaxy Tabs. So that's all you get inside the box. Now let's take a look at the actual device. Get that plastic out of here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, floor seal of approval, certified go. But let's look around the device first. On the top, you got the power on and off. You got the volume up and down. You got a slot right here for micro SD card. That's also a big bonus now compared to the old Galaxy Tab. Now you can drop the micro SD card right up in there. You got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. All right, so that's it for the top. On the back, you got the five megapixel camera with LED flash. You got some nice Samsung branding. Nice white finish. On the right side, you got nothing. On the left side, you got nothing. On the bottom, you got the space to plug it in. And you also have the SD, I mean um, the uh, S Pen. So now the S Pen has a separate, a specific spot to slide it right in there. So now you don't have to worry about losing the pen. Now, all of my dudes who got the Galaxy S3 and you got your, your C pen, you know what I'm talking about. After a while, it gets, you know, it gets to be annoying carrying the pen around separately. So now that with the little slot right here, that's a nice look. So you never have to worry about losing the pen. Now let's take a look at the actual device. This is the smoothest Android tablet that I've used yet. And everybody knows that I've used all of them, including the Transformer. Any Android tablet you can name, I already had it, already used it. This is the smoothest one I use yet. Trust me. Let's take a look at this lock screen again. Now, this, this, you, you hear that sound? You get the same sounds, all that nature stuff like you get with the Galaxy S3. You get that ripple effect. And you unlock it. Also, when you take out the S Pen, if you look toward the right right here, you're going to see a little menu pop up. You see, once you remove the pen, that, that menu automatically pops up. When you stick the pen back in, it disappears. So once you take out the pen, you get a menu of all your S Pen friendly apps. So you got S Note, 
you got S Planner, you got Crayon, you got PS Touch, Polaris Office, you got a whole bunch of stuff. And one thing I like about the S Pen, it works, it doesn't only work with S Pen apps, it works the whole time you're using the tab. So if you're like me and you, you know, you're going to be writing stuff, you have the pen in your hand and you can also keep doing your regular stuff also. So if I want to take it to the Play Store, you just click on the Play Store. You can click back, you click whatever you want with, while using the pen. And then when you're done, you just slide the pen right back in the spot. Locks into place. So that's a good look right there. Also, if you want to see some big differences now between the original Galaxy Tab and the Galaxy Note 10.1, take a look at the speakers now. Look at the difference in the size of the speakers. The speakers are also in the front now, and they're much bigger, which gives you better sound. So let's take a look right next to the, let's, take, let's put them side by side first so you can see what I'm talking about. First off, they're both about the same width. But you see, these are the little speakers on the original Galaxy Tab compared to the big ones on the Galaxy Note. So they're about the same width. One thing I will say though about the build quality, you know, when it comes to Samsung, there's no in between. Either you love it or you hate it. You're gonna either you're gonna think it's cheap plastic garbage or you're gonna think it's lightweight, you know, easy to easy to carry materials. Me, you know, at first I I always tend to think that Samsung, you know, products feel a little bit cheap or whatever, but they grow on you. And after using the Galaxy Tab now for the last year and using all these Samsung phones, I gotta say that um I, I'm digging the, the plastic feel now. And with the Galaxy Note 10.1. You get that same plastic feel, but it doesn't feel as cheap as the original Galaxy Tab. This one is actually, the original Galaxy Tab is actually lighter, but um, this one, they made it a little bit heavier. This is not aluminum or metal, just a gray color, but it just feels a little bit thicker than the, than the typical plastic from the original Galaxy Tab. So the build quality on this, on a scale of one to 10, I give the build a, a eight. You know, I, I would have liked it better if it had a little bit of aluminum here and there. Like this part right here, they could have made this aluminum, even if it would have added a couple of pounds to it or, what, you know, a couple of ounces to the weight, whatever. It just gives you a better build, build feel in your hands. But, um, like I said, on a 1 to 10, I give the build quality, I give it a solid 8. It doesn't feel too cheap. But like I said, as far as the, the, the software, this is the smoothest tablet that I use yet from Android. Let's take a look at, at some of the options. Oh, just so you know what I'm talking about. First, let's um, let's check out which uh, OS we're running. As you can see, we're running that Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich 4.0.4. Now, keep in mind, anybody who has the Galaxy Tab, the original, this one is updated to ice cream sandwich also. But the ice cream sandwich it just runs a little bit slower, a little bit more lag on the original Galaxy Tab. So far on the new one, we're getting no lag. It's running nice and smooth. As you can see, if you hold down home, it'll take you to the recently used apps. So you got the active applications, you got the RAM manager, so you could just end them all right there. Also, with the, the good thing about Touch is, when you hit the, the button on the bottom, it pops up that little menu, and then you got your world clock, you got a task manager, the planner, S Note, music player. With the speakers on the front, the music play is nice and loud. Now this is like I said when I do the when I do the real review I'll have all my music I have everything in here so we'll be able to get into everything a little bit heavier but um right now everything is completely stock on this I just got this yesterday let's take a look at the video video playback looks beautiful everybody knows that the the, the iPad has the best resolution screen out but this one is is beautiful this is um 12 you know the usual 12 800 you know, it's the usual shit, but it's, it's not retina display and all of that, but it's nice. Also, you got pop-up video works. So now, I can move the video around. You know, I can check out some other stuff. I can, let's, let's, let's check out, um, I can take it over to Google Maps while I'm still in the video. So that's a good look right there. So let's exit out of all of this stuff. So that's hot. So that's anybody who has the Galaxy S3. Trust me, this is a nice accessory to have for you to have with that. Let me show you something else that's hot. And I'll get into this a little bit more heavy when we do the real review. Let me show you about the, the multi-screens. All right, let me show you how that looks. Okay. Say I pull out the S Pen and I want to do a quick note. 
say I want to, uh, I'm thinking about buying some stuff, so I want to, you know, send a note to myself or whatever. So let's start a new note. Okay, now say I'm just, you know, what's up? The S Pen is very responsive too. I gotta admit that way more, way more responsive than on the uh, Galaxy Note on the phone. Way more responsive, way more responsive than on the Galaxy S3. Way better than um, on my HTC Flyer. I mean, the pen. This is this is the best on-screen pen that I used yet. And I don't have the exact spec of how many you know spaces that it has to touch. I forgot the number. Something like twelve thousand or. Something, you know, some astronomical number, but basically wherever you touch the pen, it's going to write. Now I can hit multi-screen. So once I hit multi-screen, say I want to go on the internet. Now I got split screen. So now I can be on the internet. I can be still writing my stuff over here. And then I can also be, say I was on YouTube. I was watching this video earlier. Some dudes dancing on the train, killing it on the E-train out here in, uh, in Queens. She was kind of crazy. But as you see, I could be watching YouTube and I could still be doing my work on this side. All right? So we'll get into that. We'll get into that a little bit uh, more deep when I do the real review. But basically right now on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this tablet a solid 9. All right? So far, nothing I don't like about it yet, but basically I've only been using it for one night. So, you know, I can't really say what what it is I do like and what it is I don't like so far. But basically right now I can tell you off the top, this is the best Android tablet that I use yet from Samsung. This is basically the best Android tablet that I've used yet. The smoothest, no lag, build quality, you know, it, it, you know, it takes a minute to get used to, but trust me, it's very light. It's lighter than your iPad. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this a solid 8 right now, fresh out the box. Certified floor seal of approval. All right, this one is a go. Now, as far as accessories, what do I got so far? Well, let's take a look. Now, if you go up in Best Buy, you're gonna get the usual, they got the Belkin cases. These are like a portfolio case, so let's drop the tablet up in so you can see what it looks like. These aren't too, these aren't too, um, too fancy, but it's a nice kind of leather feel. It has the strap to keep it closed. Now, I didn't put it in there the right way it's supposed to. You're supposed to tuck this in in the back and all that, but I just want you to see what it looks like. All right, so you got this kind of case right here. Got the usual desktop dock. And also, now this one, you can't really get this right now. I don't know. Maybe you can find it on eBay or Amazon or something, but I still have the limited edition. This was from when the original Galaxy Tab first came out, the sleeve. Now remember, they only gave this out to the people that was there the first day it came out. They wasn't even selling this. So I still got mine from my original Galaxy Tab. And it fits right in here. So I'm going to be rocking this one, the sleeve. But I'm also going to get a whole bunch of other accessories. And we'll get into that next week when I do the real review. I know about all the software, all the programs. I just know all the tricks and all that. I'll know all that by next week. So we'll get into that. Now, anybody who has the Galaxy S3... Let me tell you something. Y'all know I like to keep all my devices uniform. You know, I like to keep all my shit together. When I'm rocking the, the Motorola Zoom, I had the Motorola Photon. If I'm rocking a new iPad, I got to get the iPhone or whatever. If you got the Galaxy S3, you need this. All right, you need this Galaxy Note 10.1. Look how they look together. You see that Samsung? You see the Samsung branding? So if you got a white Galaxy S3, Get the white Galaxy Note 10.1. Now this comes in other colors. They got the metallic one. You know, plus you could basically get a dip to whatever color you want. But if you got the white Galaxy S3 and you got the white Galaxy Note 10.1, you're automatically sitting on top of the food chain. Right? You need that. So now if you, when you go, when you, you know, when you go to the airport and all that, and I'll talk about something else real quick. When you go to the airport, you pull out this, you got your Galaxy S3, looking good. As you can see, I got the, uh, it's mine's is rooted right now. I got a jelly bean ROM. We'll get into that in another video. You got your Galaxy S3. You got your Galaxy Note 10.1. And then when you want to listen to some music, you pull out your Galaxy Player. So now you got your Galaxy S3, your Galaxy Player, and your Galaxy Note 10.1. You're basically ready to make a trip to wherever you got to go. All right, so this is the full family right here. Looking real nice. Real nice. What else? 
Now, before I get out of here, a lot of people was asking me, um, what's up with the power bag and the my charge? How did that work on the trip? Let me tell you something. When you go, if you got a power bag, you're not going to have no problems going into the airport. Now, I already went on about four trips already since then. All you got to do is when you're going through TSA, take the battery out of the bag, like I showed you in the video, unhook the battery, put it in a separate tray, push that through with all your, your phones and everything else, push that through, and push the bag through separately. You ain't going to have no problems. As far as the my charge, I got both my charges in my car right now. You know, I'm basically loving those. That 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 might that might have been one of the best cops I had all year. That might have been one of the best purchases. That uh, my charge. Trust me, I use that all the time. So the power bag and the my charge. If you never seen that video, go watch that video. Those items right there, mandatory, mandatory for dudes who are outside on the road, dudes who are taking trips all the time. You need those, all right? So I'm going to get up with y'all next week. We're going to do this real review. Shout out to my homeboy Daniel on Facebook because that's the dude that hit me up. I didn't even know this was out yet. You know what I'm saying? He hit me up. I forgot all about this. So I want to go pick this up, you know, on what, Saturday? When, matter of fact, yeah, Saturday. So I had it for two days now. So shout out to the homie from Facebook for, hit, for you know, telling me to go step my game up, get back on my grind. I was busy bullshitting at the barbecues and all that. So we see what it looked like. Shout out to everybody that follow me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Voxer. Special shout out to everybody hit me up on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time right now. I'm going to get up with y'all probably um, next week. We'll do this real review. Also, I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes. I'm going to show y'all a little something for your iPhones. For all you fanboys out there who still rocking the iPhones. All right? It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. Deuces.